In our first story, as Christians the world over celebrate the birth of Christ, political parties in Ghana seem not to have not been left out of the celebration, though the heated political tension has been watered down by the festive season, some political parties in the country still seem to have a lot to tell Ghanaians. I want to wish all Ghanaians uh, a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Um, the Christmas is a festive occasion where we all show love for one another share with one another what we have, especially the underprivileged. Um, it's, it's been a very difficult year. We've not been able to guarantee ourselves reliable supply of power and with it a loss of productivity for many manufacturing companies and mining companies have had to lay off workers. There have been a lot of strikes. Uh, what, 12 unions were on strike because of the government's botched handling of the pension situation. And it's, it's, it's been really uh, difficult for Ghanaians and there's a, a feeling of despair and hopelessness around. Well, I wish every Ghanaian and every person walking on the face of the land of Ghana a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. If you do not know where you are and do not accept if you have a problem then you cannot find solutions for the problem. We have challenges but we can turn those challenges into opportunities or we can fold our arms and have a laissez-faire attitude or we can see them as a threat and then throw our hands in tantrums i mean throw tantrums here and there what i'm saying is that we need to know our situation and when we accept our situation that this is where we are and we want to go to the other side then we can look at the problems and turn the problems into opportunities, resolve them, have a solution, and move on and make Ghana a better place. Ghana. Many Christians here in Accra went to church this morning to celebrate the birth of Christ. But do you know what other regions are doing on this day? Do you know what the atmosphere is like in other regions? We cross over now to the regions for reports from our correspondent on how people are celebrating Christmas. Uh, first, I have on phone Haruna you see from the Eastern Region. Haruna, thank you so much for joining us and Merry Christmas to you. Uh, Merry Christmas to you too and prosperous New Year as well. Right, thank you. So um, how is the atmosphere like in the Eastern Region? How are people yeah. celebrating Christmas? Yeah, the atmosphere in the Eastern Region, actually, as you did indicate, in fact, people have converted in their various churches to celebrate the Christmas. Today is 25th. Mm. But if you look at Kofuru Central Market itself, I have seen a lot of people to come in to do business. I see. I, I was expecting those people, when they are Christians and they know today is Christmas, they would have actually abandoned whatever they do, their business activities, and go and celebrate the Christmas and worship to as well. But I see, I find a lot of people there, some lock their stores, others who are still seriously doing business. Oh, yeah. But okay. I, have, I, have, I have visited about seven churches and I've realized that in fact, Christians have converted in their churches and they are celebrating the Christmas there in this region. Are people dressed in uh, ways that suggest they are really having a celebration uh, mood? Yes, it's true. When you go, even some people get these speakers and then they are, they are jamming, playing music, dancing. Others are in their, their, their right attire, outfit, dressed properly. And there are some, are, some are roaming about dancing and doing a lot of things. In fact, it's, it's, it's been wonderful in the region here how Christmas has been celebrated by the people in the region here. But I, I would like to indicate one clear thing here to the vice president and the, the second lady of the land are also in the central hospital here. They paid a visit to the central hospital here to celebrate the Christmas with the children's ward in the hospital here. I see. As, as, as I'm, I'm speaking to you right now, they are even in the hospital mm. here to celebrate the Christmas. They I said see. they cannot sit in Accra and celebrate the Christmas, so they want to come here and celebrate it with the sick persons 
in the hospital. Okay. Uh, right, uh, Haruna Isif, thank you so much for that uh, Christmas update from the Eastern region. Let's thank also you too. Thank you too. now go to Nesta Kafui Ajoma from the Bonahaf region. Hi, Nesta. Thank you so much for joining us and Merry Christmas to you. Hello, Nesta. Hello, can you hear me? Now I can hear you. Merry Christmas yeah. to you. Merry Christmas to you too. Um, so how is Christmas being observed in Bonahaf region? Um, as usual, this morning, uh, many Christians are currently in church. Most of them have not yet closed and they are in the uh, Christmas in the church. Okay. Uh, yesterday, Christmas Eve, uh, most nightclubs and uh, some churches organized musical concerts mm. just to usher in the Christmas day. Um, I've been speaking with some of the people and what they tell me is um, though their pocket is not all that good, all that matters is that there is life and um, they just have to carry on. So, um, and when you go to some of the shops and the market, it looks as though nothing was happening. Most of the uh, traders are still doing their normal business. Um, the Christians tell me after church, they will be converging in vantage areas to um, continue their celebrations. I see. So um, what are you doing personally to, uh, as you celebrate Christmas? Share that with us. Personally, after church, I go back home, just relax at home, and then reflect on the business and what happened. And that's enough. You're not, yeah. you're not getting us more Christmas stories? I thought you would talk about that. Not actually, not actually. That's not my style. <laughs> okay. I, I, I like to be indoors and uh, continue my fasting for 50 years. All right. Then we wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, let's also go over to uh, Rafiq Salam, our Upper West Regional Correspondent. Um, I'd rather have Albert Sorry, Upper East Regional Correspondent. Albert Sorry, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, lad. Um, quickly gauge the mood for us. How is it like in the Upper East? Well, um, a lot of people have gone to church this morning. Um, in the capital here, the market day was yesterday. So uh, it was busier yesterday in town compared okay. to... Uh, today, mm. but uh, in a place like Navrongo, which also has uh, one of the biggest markets in the Upper East region, um, it, it's going to be very busy there today because uh, today is the Navrongo market, and it's one of the markets that is highly patronized by many in the Upper East region. So yes, um, in the capital, it's, it's less busy um, compared to uh, Navrongo and some other places today. I, I see. So, um, are, are people dressed in, uh, very elaborately celebrating Christmas? Well, for now, uh, it, it's the kids uh, who have started going around in their yeah, Christmas um, clothing, see the girls uh, with new hair and all of that. So, for now, uh, it's the children I have seen who have already started having fun. But for the elderly people, I'm sure they are still in their various homes trying to uh, get Christmas lunch for the children and uh, other family members who may just be visiting. I'm sure later in the evening when uh, everything is coming down, then uh, the elderly people will now be out, uh, you know, trying to go to various places to uh, enjoy the Christmas. Um, do you get people talking in anticipation for a, a very special celebrations, give outs and all? Sorry, I didn't hear the question. I'm asking, do you get people talking about anticipation um, towards having a dinner somewhere, a party here and there, uh, give out here and there, expecting gifts and all like that? Yes, um, it, it's something that uh, happens here a lot. Um, compared to, you know, the big cities like Accra and all of that, you don't have so many of uh, uh, programs of national, national nature going on. But there are uh, a few uh, places of hangouts, um, clubs, you know, um, live band and all of that. And those are some of the places that people in this region um, are highly 
expecting, uh, you know, later in the evening to attend. I see. Right. Thank you so much, Albert. Sorry. So we, we, we have been uh, gauging the mood in the Eastern region, Bonahoff region and Upper East region, how Christmas is being observed. Uh, abortion is a rather touchy issue, uh, whereas it is illegal in most countries, it is often prescribed to save pregnant women with complications. But what are the complications associated with abortions? Are you aware that a huge percentage of all abortions taking place in Ghana are performed on adolescents? Bonaha for regional correspondent Nesta Kafri Ajoma has been exploring the issue and has come through with this report. A large number of adolescents are involved in abortion every year in Ghana. According to the Adolescent Health and Development Programme report by the Ministry of Health, 16,182 girls went through abortion in 2011, 10,785 in 2010, and 8,717 in 2009. Many of these teenagers face high risk of experiencing post-abortion infections through the vagina to the uterus and the fallopian tube. This is due to bacterial infection, which may be caused by either the spread of unrecognized STIs in the uterus during abortion or microorganisms on the surgical instruments which are inserted into the uterus. Researchers say teens may be more susceptible to infections because their bodies are not yet fully developed and do not even produce pathogens that are found in the cervical mucus of older women that can protect them from infections. According to experts, most teenage unsafe abortions take place without parental involvement. Due to that, the parents of these teenagers are not forewarned about the physical and emotional complications their children might be encountering. Some emotional reactions of these teenagers who indulge in unsafe abortions include depression, anger, and guilt. Most adolescents think that abortions, whether safe or unsafe, end when the pregnancy has been terminated. But this is not the case, as it takes more than that for an abortion to be completed, as asserted by a lecturer at Intotroso Community Nursing Training School, Esther Manifie. We also have social trauma. If, if the person does an abortion, the woman does an abortion, she may have some psychological or social trauma that she will be thinking about the abortion she has done and this thing will live with the woman so unless she gets somebody to counsel her she will be living with this psychological trauma so she dies and you can also have intermittent abortion that is where the pregnancy that a woman would take at any time will come out by itself. Supposing so when I was in my youthful age, I used to do abortion frequently. Now I've trained my instructors to be that. So now that I've gotten Mr. Wright to marry, I want pregnancy or a child for Mr. Wright. But because I've trained my instructors to be like every month or a, a frequent time, I have to abort. Now the Uterus is trained to that, so now I need a baby. The uterus will not permit me to have the pregnancy. In order to help Ghana achieve the MDG goal 4 and 5, Global Media Foundation, a human rights and anti-corruption media advocacy organization in Sunyani, is educating SHS students on the need for safe abortion. The CEO of Global Media Foundation organization, Rafael Godlavahenu, said abortion accounts for 15% of maternal deaths, which is impeding Ghana's efforts at achieving MDG 4 and 5, which primarily aims at reducing maternal mortality by 70% in 2015. So as an organization, one way can do is to increase public education for them to know where they can go for safe abortion services. And then the project is advocating for young people access to safe abortion and contraceptive services in Puno Afro region. And we are targeting almost uh, 28 senior and junior high schools where we'll be establishing reproductive health clubs in these schools. He thinks the criminalization of abortion over the years has contributed to maternal deaths recorded. Nesta Kafuya Jomez report from the Bonoafo region.